Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Scorpios. Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and this is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of February the 7th to the 13th. Let's see what we have, my beautiful Scorpio. Starting off right off the bat in your first row, you have Potion. Um, remember to practice self-love. Maybe you, you haven't been paying attention to your personal needs lately, and it's time for you to set aside time to do that. You're familiar with the concepts of self-love and self-care, but either you've never actively practiced them or they're something you've fallen behind on. Either way, you should get back on track. Keep yourself maintained in all ways, big or small. That can mean calling it quits or take a luxurious bath instead or that you can mean putting on some beautiful, uh, beautiful oils that are going to help you feel better uh, or getting out your planner so that you can sort out your life before it gets out of control. So setting yourself up and organizing yourself and doing what's right for you and ticking those things off on your calendar or in your journal. So basically, I think you need to be taking care of yourself this week. Do what's right for you. This is about self-care. This is about nurturing yourself. And this is about uh, taking a time out to just rejuvenate and recharge. You're moving on, building a brand new legacy. I've talked about this before with you. Changes coming in. Things may have come to an end, a conclusion, completion, uh, or suddenly happened um, <clears throat> that was out of your control. But nonetheless, you don't panic. You go forward. I love this card because it's all about realizing you have the resources to change things and make things better for yourself. So I do think that you're taking care of your own needs. I think you're going to be considering what's important in your life as you move forward uh, and making things count for you. This is about you. This is your journey, Scorpio. And you need to start thinking about you know, making things comfortable and peaceful around yourself and building that legacy, building that new foundation. Uh, you know, it's like building a new home brick by brick. It takes time. But I do believe you're, you're starting to do this and you're going to see your future getting better, stronger and more secure. You've got great energy coming in here with the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles talks about abundance, fruition, being able to go through uh, that gate, uh, of <clears throat> that portal, that gate to your prosperity because it's coming into you. This could be in the form of something uh, like a, a promotion or a salary increase or maybe even something that you didn't expect, some unexpected money. If you are changing things up, rebuilding this new foundation here, if you are building a new business or taking on an extra one or just improving your know that it this this is going to likely succeed you know you're laying the foundation for pros prosperity right now and you're doing it well it's a good time to make any investments as well but consider the opportunities carefully okay you could be receiving some important legal documentations or contracts or correspondence at this time uh, this is, you know, I always say this is the card of in everything improving spiritually, mentally, and physically in your health and your life when this shows up. You could be also thinking about taking a new course of study that's going to enhance and enable you to make more money in your business, uh, you know, earning a degree in something or a credit in something. But you've got some excellent luck and a shift of energy here coming into you, Scorpio, because you're making the changes that are going to benefit you for your greater good. Don't be afraid to explore things. Trust your imagination to help you journey through your inner landscape to find what it is you want to seek. Eight is the number we manifest and we meditate on for money and maybe this and, and material needs. So maybe you're going to be doing that. You have the Hierophant here coming in as well. And that is, you know, tapping into higher self, tapping into your faith, your belief, uh, the sources that be and the powers that be. This could be you climbing this, this ladder of spiritual ascension right now. I think a lot of people are doing that. They're becoming more enlightened. And I think you are tapping into that as well, my beautiful Scorpios. Um, continue on that route. I think this is a blessing from the divine in a message telling you that you're on the right path. You could be negotiating, collaborating, and building a clientele here of people around you you want to unite with. You could be bringing new people, spiritual people like you, into your circle of light here. So this is beautiful. Don't be afraid to explore and trust your imagination to change things up as you go through this, this transformation. You've got the two of wands came up as well for I think Libra partnering up getting together collaborating with someone else but this is about success as well 
looking towards your future uh, with happiness and promise here of a better one coming in and I do believe this is happening for you this is a beautiful card when it shows up in any reading and I do think that you're coming into your own Scorpio um, <clears throat> making the steps to improve your career or your business and knowing now that you're going to be right on right right on track but keep forging ahead and don't be discouraged if there's some little temporary blips and blumps and speed bumps along the way that kind of cause delays. Don't allow anything to hinder your progress going forward where your mind is set so you can achieve your goals. But you could also be thinking of partnering up again. And I had talked about that, collaborating, getting together with others, bringing people into your circle here that that have the same lights and interests that are going to have the same goals that are going to complement what you're doing out there in business so this is great you've got the ear and the ear says you're going to hear about good news and i do believe that because when we see the ace of pentacles it opens portals of opportunities that bring this into us so you could be receiving a letter a phone call a, a, you know uh, somebody could be talking to you about this you hearing it uh you're going to be hearing good news coming in about anything it could be anything in your life depending on who this red message is for <clears throat> now don't lose your sleep you i think you've been worrying because you've got this this deception card as well coming in in the next row and i i think that right now you kind of <clears throat> in the center position here you may be waiting for something to happen and it might not be happening as expediently and as fast as you wish it would but don't get up in your head this is needless worry leave your worries let them go do more meditative work call in your guides the sources that be the powers that be to guide you and take away this anxiety um, because you're going to be hearing good news coming in and it might be just that you're anxious about it you haven't heard yet and you're you're waiting for something to surface here and the, again waiting this is a hangman right <clears throat> you know hanging in limbo you could be collaborating with others and getting you know getting together with others to discuss this news that could be coming in but you could be in the process of worrying and waiting for it don't allow that to happen you, this is only a temporary pause in action and you will hear this good news coming in whatever it's about now in the next row you have a beautiful message here a smile fills your heart with longing through the magnetism of divine love you merge with another and love becomes an all-embracing thought by a touch, a word, or a glance, love heals, unites, transforms, and transfigures all things. This is your season of love, time of positive transformation, and a time of happiness. Wow. I love, love, love this Scorpio. So you could be, <clears throat> it doesn't show me here, but I think it's about self-love first. Okay, I think that you're going to be filling yourself with that beautiful love and that you're going to be dealing with any inner issues that you have with your own self-love and you're starting to tap into that so that you can trans you know transfer that out into the universe to others you could be meeting somebody new you could be now in a place where you're ready you finally come to a conclusion and you're ready to meet somebody new but i think in the past here you had to deal with some deception there may have been someone in your life on an intimate level who was never honest and truthful who never kept their word who you know who was deceptive uh, they deceived you and they made you believe they would change i don't think that's happened i think at the end of the day you had all this worry about that situation that left you hanging here not ready not really going forward in in a situation or a relationship with somebody now you, they get caught at the end of the day you see the light because i mean we have this the crow s just screaming it out to the universe keep your eyes open and watch for this deception and the light is going to shine on them where you're going to see it it's time for you to now to move forward and go through a new transformation in your life and i think you may be meeting somebody new <clears throat> excuse me i'm sorry but again it's very dry here this in the winter uh and it's you know it tends to make me dry and have to clear my throat okay i try not to do that now coming in you have lots of decisions and choices that might leave you feeling confused and even uh, you know uh, afraid to move forward and make a decision i always say when this card shows up you're going to be given a lot of opportunities here to go over many different options and you need to think about what is going to be better for you what is going to bring you your greater good satisfaction uh, and also long-term and durability so don't go picking something really quick on a whim because it looks too good to be true it may be everything that glitters isn't always gold 
if this is a situation that is a legal situation that's legal and binding you may want to seek counsel okay do the research but you may need to seek counsel from somebody a mentor somebody that is going to be able to guide you through this and don't procrastinate about it okay try to focus on what it is you want but there could be too many options that are going to be coming in all right don't let your imagination run wild here pick what's going to be long term what's going to last what's the, what is going to be durability here uh you know i if it's a relationship um you know i think what you're going to be wanting here is somebody who's going to be long term is it a playmate or a soulmate is it a life mate right you have to think about those things if it has to do with a love relationship for others it could have to do with think situations to do with your job and your career uh and that you know you need to pick the one that's going to be uh give you the best benefits it's going to pay you the best money and what are you investing your time into okay think about that now Coming in with your surrender message, you've been given surrender to success. So there you go. You know I mean, you've got all this help coming in with the Ace of Pentacles, rebuilding this new foundation, doing what's right for you, keeping your mind open to explore and trust your imagination and hearing good news. You've got a lot of support here on your side here. So you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into exciting new world of possibilities. So that's what this is about. Letting go of the worry, uh, walking away from things that weren't there supporting you and realizing you can go forward. And again, look what you've got. You've got a double message here. <clears throat> this has been happening a lot. So you've got the hangman. And again, that says things might just be taking time here. You're waiting for that success to come in. But in the process, you, while you're here, you could be collaborating with someone else, listening to someone else, bringing someone else's information and wisdom into the equation here that's going to help you because we talked about that two of wands here where you could be collaborating with somebody else and putting your you know two minds are better than one and working with someone else here king of cups shows up king of cups is somebody who has wisdom who has the ability to give good advice and good counsel and i always say lucky are those that has this king on their side so this is taking control of your emotions being mentored or being guided and take that advice this person comes in out of the goodness of their heart to want to help without any payment you know or any expectation they don't want anything from you they've lived and they've learned and they want to share to help with you now you this is a water sign cancer scorpio, scorpio or pisces this could be you wanting to mentor and help someone else and guide someone else with your wisdom with your craft with your gifts that you have to offer beautiful well this is your reading my beautiful scorpios and i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to because you do i see structure i see rebuilding i see you doing things that are good for you thinking about your needs now first letting go of the deception that was surrounding you that was holding you back here in the past and you've got guidance now you've tapped into your higher self the sources that be and you're getting that being able to move forward and taking in the right people now in your life to partner in with you realizing that now you're able to open your heart to truly love and be loved by, by someone else so surrender to this beautiful success this week wow always know that i wish we all continue to play safe stay safe and be safe and i send you many blessings and much love and i'll see you soon